to have a theater named after this person that her spirit is still very much alive here. We believe that our main ghost is Annie Russell herself. The Annie Russell Theater was built in 1932, so our students here at the college for decades and decades have rituals to show their respect for Annie Russell and the other spirits in the theater. There are all sorts of stories that there is a certain chair up in the balcony that was a favorite of Annie's, and sometimes it's down for no reason whatsoever during rehearsal. And so the thought is that she's watching over us. So you'll find at the end of rehearsal that students say, good night, Annie. And it's sort of to the building, but it's really to the person. Above our theater, there's a little room and it is said that when her door is open, she is pleased with what is going on at the theater. And when the door is closed, not, not pleased. The door is such a beautiful way of being like, she's cheering us on, that door is open, she likes the show, <laughs> you know? And I absolutely love to have a theater named after this person that her spirit is still very much alive here. That helps explain why it feels so magical to be here. One of my favorite stories here at the Annie Russell is the story of Annie calling 911. It was the early 60s. Late at night, we had a student here working on lighting instruments up on a ladder. They got a shock, fell off the ladder, and another student heard the commotion, rushed in. It had been a few minutes. They found a phone, you know, good old fashioned landline, and called emergency services. The operator said, We've already got someone on our way. They're almost there. An older woman has already placed the call. So of course, Annie was looking out and making sure that help arrived on time. The student was fine. Florida Road Trip is brought to you in part by contributions from the Paul B. Hunter and Constance D. Hunter Charitable Foundation.